Let's do it. Ah, there we are. This looks like a pistol case, but it's empty. I don't know if this has anything to do with you, Mother, but if it does, at least now you're armed. Just like in my vision. And none of it's telling me anything useful. Hmm, this wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Aha. Uh -huh. What do we hear? It's cannon powder. Hmm, the powder's wet. Not surprising, given the dampness of the dock. It's unusable now. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. Apparently, someone on this island has gone through a whole lot of trouble to arm themselves. I really must find you, dear mother, and quickly, too. Amber crystals. A wooden floorboard probably comes from this part of the wharf. The wood is slightly eaten away, of course, but it still would have been fine if it weren't smashed. And Nessis, mi fili quantilia produncia mundus orgatur. You don't know, my son, how little wisdom the world is governed with. I tend to agree. Inscription. And Nessis, mi fili quantilia produncia mundus orgatur. You don't know, my son, how little wisdom the world is governed with. I tend to agree. How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? to remove your negative altercation. Is that Zeus? Whoa. Impressive. Ah, my son. I was looking for you. What can I do for you, your eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sada de Vice, aren't you? 
You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this your very mother. spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. Your mother. But I haven't mm -hmm. seen her. If only Mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, you can always give it to me. During a, a confrontation, you have to go through several steps while being as persuasive as, as persuasive as possible. Confrontations have consequences that on the rest of their story, so don't hesitate to use your skills. Each comment, yeah. Thank you, my son. I bear that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Yes, she's been there for several weeks now. Certainly, your eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I shall see her tomorrow, then. By the way, Your Eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, uh, if you only knew, my son, I hold your mother in the highest regard. She has rendered great service to the church, and her help is invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. If only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is very commendable. But since we work together on a daily basis, it's, it's surely just an oversight. Most certainly. You said you work together. What do you do, exactly? Be it mother or myself, our motto has always been discretion in all things, and to promise to never betray a word of honor. Was your secret safe with mother? It will be even more so with me. You have convinced me. The mystery with which yes, your mother manages her business proves that she carries your motto close to her heart. Your words seem sincere, my son. All the same, it bothers me to see you in a quandary, Your Eminence. Is there any other solution? Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Uh, I hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person, and that has always been successful. Come on, man. Do you think I should give it to you? Yes, I'll give it to her to fuck for it. You can count on me. Yes, I'll give it to her if I find her. Don't worry, Your Eminence. Your secret is safe with me. You know my mother's reputation. As her son, I will defend the Dorishe's word with the same fervor. Ah, I would expect nothing less. Let's go! Listen to me. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother would read it? Confrontation last step. For the last step of the confrontation, you must convince the person you are talking to. You are talking to by giving them a positive answer. If you give them a bad answer, the step will repeat itself until you either give a right one or you have no blunders left. The last one, yeah, the last step of the confrontation will repeat itself if you fail. Uh, listen, listen, my child. If I give the letter to you, can you promise the? No, thank you. No. Okay, no worries. I don't believe. I don't believe in this God. Promise. I swear by the Almighty God to honor the promise that no one. But my mother shall cast her gaze upon your letter. Good. Listen, let's stop there. I'm going to tell you a secret, Monsieur Derich. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the cursed Republican tribunals. 
The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priest's safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here, the letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her that time is short. Oh, well played. So holy. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. Yeah. Hidden elements. Many clues and items are hidden. Some of them will be will have an impact on your adventure, so do not hesitate to look for them. Got it. Lord Mortimer certainly has a taste for staging rooms. Lives of the Noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch, a biography of the great men. Flip through it, take the book. Open to Brutus's page. Caesar, stabbed by multiple blows at once, sees Brutus raise the dagger on him. Then, covering his head with his robe, he delivers himself to the arms of the conspirators. Nice family. Let's keep it. Might come in handy someday. Okay. Manuscripts. Manuscripts allow you to educate yourself during the adventure. Uh, you can also choose what to read. Gain performance skills. Uh, find the manuscripts by... I thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monseigneur His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me Your Eminence. It's simpler. George Washington, President of the United States of America. Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Maurras de Richer. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you'll forgive my indiscretion? My mother about a letter um, about the surprising main door. Let's avoid the subject. At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. Of course. It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, or even money matters. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends, do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Oh. Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Horn, a close friend of Lord Mortimer. But uh, I do not know the reason why. 
Oh, you see, Louis, oh. every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During chat. which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll cussing. leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richer, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? Like you, Mr. President, I'm here as a result of Lord Mortimer's invitation. Two members of the same family here. That is rare. You know what they say. You can pick your nose, but you can't pick your family. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, I know your mother oh, well. Man, Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. Got it. What is that insignia? Good lord. Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest distinction of the Order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. He must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. Good evening, my friends. Holy shit. That's the man for my vision. An urgent case has delayed our oh, wow. host, Lord ugly Mortimer. As fuck, he bro. can't be present this evening, <laughs> and he sends his deepest apologies. He's asked me here, and he hasn't even turned up? Great start. Do you know that man? Sir Gregory Holm, an English aristocrat. Very influential. He's also close to Lord Mortimer. So, don't be surprised if he acts like he's at home. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. Ooh, One of Lord fucking... Mortimer's guests is Wrinkles, relaxing. Right? Oh. We shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. My vision is more important. Let's follow home. I'll follow you, sir. Mr. Washington, I hope to speak with you at greater length on another occasion. Emily, please excuse me, but I would like to speak to Sir Holm. I shall see you later. My friend, I hope our dear Giovanni is well. Ah, the troubles in France have fatigued him, but he will recover slowly. Do not fear. He apologizes for remaining in Rome. The voyage was too much for him. And right he was too. The mildness of the Mediterranean, eh? Come, sit down and have something to eat, my friend. You look rather pale. Excuse me, sir. I have been neglecting my duty. I haven't introduced myself. Sir Gregory Holm, an old friend of Lord Mortimer's. A real pleasure, sir. You who must be well used to the court of France, how do you find this peaceful little haven? Charming, if I hadn't come here for disturbing reasons. Yes, I heard the news. What a story. Indeed. I wanted to ask you. You seem to know my mother well. Is that true? <laughs> Who does not know of her, sir? She has such a wide circle that everyone knows your mother from a distance or closer. Everyone knows Sarah, my son. But you only know her by her reputation. I remember she once worked for the Crown of England and that she always honors her engagements. However, we have never been personally introduced, sadly. Well, if I'm to believe my vision, you're not going to get along with her. Thank you for your answers, Sir Holm. But I beg your pardon. I get the impression I know you. Have we met? Except in my dreams, of course. Not that I remember, young man. Uh, perhaps you are mistaking me for another member of the Chamber of Lords. And what with the wig and the powder, it wouldn't be the first time. No, you were definitely the one I saw threatening my mother. I thought... never mind. It'll come back to me. Would you allow me one last question, sir? 
I don't want to take up all your time. Uh, please, go ahead. Um, what do you want to know? Uh, who could have... Could my mother have had a problem with someone during her stay here? No, not at all. Your mother has always been charming company, and everyone got on very well with her. Cat. Not even a servant? <laughs> Certainly not. Everyone gets on well with the famous Sara de Riche. Uh -huh. <laughs> no! <laughs> Elizabeth! I should have insisted that you rest in your room. Do you want me to call someone? Let me handle this. I'm used to this kind of thing. Miss, can, can you hear me? Leave me. Slight arrhythmia. Nothing too serious. Do you often feel faint? Leave me alone. Yes, Elizabeth suffers from poor health. Her fits are part of her daily life. I would guess it's more like an anxiety attack. As if something had suddenly terrorized her. She reeks of laudanum, though. Are you receiving any regular medical treatment, miss? Miss Adams, are you receiving any medical treatment? No, I... I don't know what you have to be afraid of yet, miss, but trying to drive out your demons with drugs won't do much good. Can you tell me something about her? Who is this young lady? Elizabeth Adams. She's come to the island for a course of treatment, to rest. For a course of treatment? That's right. Monsieur can do wonders. Are you all right, Elizabeth? Do you feel any better? When did she arrive? Uh, four days ago. Okay. My mother had already gone missing. Are you all right, Elizabeth? You gave us quite a fright. Take it easy, miss. Let me... I just need to get back to my room. Of course, my dear. Go ahead. You saw it, didn't you? Pardon me? He's saying it de la bestia. Sorry, your eminence. I don't speak Italian. Ah, forget it. It doesn't matter. Damn. Gentlemen, it's getting late. It is time for everyone to go to bed. It has been a long day. See what I can do, but the case I'm on at the moment might well leave me with very few opportunities. What are they whispering, whispering about? Hmm? Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. You seem to be intrigued by that statue. Oh. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. Dialogue timer. Uh, when the timer is over, an answer automatically selected. So, old, who was that young lady with you? Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. On that note, it's very late. You must be exhausted. 
Bro, I'm missing a lot the of shit. The servant will accompany you to your room. I need to do some like more exploring or something. But I, but I, I went to the group and I didn't know it'd give me, put me into an automatic cutscene. That, that's why. Ladies, gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, Your Eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. Right, you, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Okay. Nice servant. Well, my friends. I am bone tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. See you tomorrow. Oh, man. It's been quite a day. Right. Where is my room? Fuck that shit. I'm going back down here. Can I go back? What was he? Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Can't go in there. Monsieur Napoleon Bonaparte. Monsieur Jacques Perru. The quorum guide. A few leaves out of an old encyclopedia. Golden elixir. Uh, cures all negative altercations. You can carry more than five. You cannot carry more than five. Place, bro. God damn. What's here? Nothing. Nada. Monsieur Johann von Wunder. George Washington. Intoxicated. You have used four consumable items during a single quest or consumed a noxious element. Dialogue timer is no longer available. You use a golden elixir to cure yourself. Okay. Monseigneur, his eminence, Cardinal Piaggi. So this is my room. 
Huh, that's me.